my name is Johan Falk and this is the zeroth video in the Rules Mastery videos where I will uh, guide you through the exercises and stuff we will be working with at the Rules Mastery training at DrupalCon Denver in March uh, 2012. It will be an awesome uh, training day and I hope you can join us. Uh, if you're watching, just watching this on uh, YouTube or something, this is a training uh, at a great conference for Drupal, uh, the very fun uh, content management system. And you can, if you are very quick, join it at DrupalCon Denver. There are, I think, maybe three seats left. So if you're quick going to this site, you can join, uh, sign up for it. But uh, in this video, I will show you some of the, well, Let's have a look at this one. Some of the uh, uh, basic setup we'll use on the site uh, that we will use during this training, well, during the morning of the training. Um, I have created what's called a feature. You can find it over at drupal.org slash sandbox slash itangalo slash 1445770 or uh, just search for rules mastery here and you'll end up on this page. Um, this contains uh, some features that is uh, pre-configured stuff uh, and saved with uh, the features module and if you have git installed you can download it or clone it down to your computer going to this sub tab here version control and following these steps or you can just follow the link to a zip file or something that I will upload and uh, put a link to in the notes for this video. So, uh, let's see. When you have downloaded this, you'll have uh, two features, two new small uh, mini modules uh, available. One of them is called Rules Mastery Setup, the Start Setup, which contains all the functionality that we will start off with. One is called Rules Mastery General Dependencies, which I added to make sure that you have all the modules we'll be working with later today, uh, later in these videos. Uh, enable both of these. This will uh, require that you have the Features module and the Strong Arm module, and also another few modules enabled. And they will give you some cool stuff to your site, and I will show you these now. Uh, the site we'll be working with is, uh, well, we pretend that is, it is a site for learning resources. And I've added two new content types. Uh, one is called Topic, uh, which is a description of a topic that you want to learn or someone wants to learn. And, uh, one is called Tutorial, which are added to topics uh, to uh, describe or, or do stuff, well, learn stuff with a, uh, uh, of the topic. And it can look like this. Well. Let's actually go to this tab here that is provided by the feature called Learning Stuff. Lists uh, and the topics on the site. We have here uh, five of them. They're sorted by post date. You can click on any one of well, you can click on any one of them. You get the the node, and you also get a list of the tutorials for this topic. And if you click on a tutorial, you can see we have some some other text here. You have uh, link back to the uh, the topic. You have a difficulty setting on the uh, on the tutorials, some kind of text here, and then sometimes comments. Let's go back one step or two here. You can also have here on the learning stuff. You have a sub tab tutorials, which lists all the tutorials on the site. Uh, nothing fancy. This is just basic uh, uh, content type building and some views. This is not what we'll focus on, but this is a start point of the fun things we want to do. The things that we want, we will be working with during the day mostly have to do with awarding users uh, what I call Drupal points uh, for doing different things on, on the site. And when a user reaches a certain level of Drupal points, he or she is awarded with a new role on the site and can start doing more fun stuff and thereby collecting more Drupal points. And it's kind of like the user points module if you use that for Drupal. Um, and let's see, I have, yeah, let, let's have a look at that. If I go to my account, it says now I have five Drupal points and I have, let's see if I can find this one as well, the permissions list here. Let's see, rules mastery, no. Drupal points. Here it is. I've added a new permission called administer Drupal points and anyone who has this permission can view their own 
uh, or edit their own or and anyone's Drupal points. Let's see if I edit my own account and scroll down. I can here edit my field called Drupal points, but this is only because I'm administrator right now. Usually I shouldn't be able to do it. I've added seven new roles to the site, uh, just uh, label one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, and this, uh, we will be working with these during the, the day uh, to award new new points and, and allow people to level up on the site. Uh, let's close this one and this one. Okay, uh, I think there are two more things I want to show you. The flag module is uh, used on two, in two different ways here on the site. If I go to the start page again, uh, you can see here Let's go to learning stuff. Um, the topics can be liked, and these are flags. If I go to one of the topics, I can like or stop liking this. And this will hopefully be a guide for other people to know what content on the site is, is good and useful. You can do the same thing for, tutori uh, for tutorials. If I click on this one, I can like this one as well, and this will guide, hopefully guide people to find good tutorials on the site. Uh, finally, I can do kind of the same thing with comments. I can mark, but, but the opposite, I can mark comments as spam. Uh, this is another flag with a flag module. I've added this. Uh, and you can also, as administrator, go into content and comments. And here under comments, there is a sub tab called spam, which renders a bit weird uh, because of the contextual links in views. But never mind that. Here's a list of all the content on the site marked as spam or flagged as spam. And uh, yeah, that's it. We'll be working with this uh, site during the day and do some cool stuff. Um, uh, all of the things we'll do I've captured as screencasts, so I hope that will help you out on the way if you get stuck. Otherwise, uh, uh, there will be instructors around to help you, and uh, I, ho I hope and really think that you'll have a good time today. Um, see you! Bye!